Welcome back to another video. Sorry if I startled anyone watching, but today, today I have a great video in mind. I feel like it's going to make all of you guys laugh out there. Today we're making fun of our good friend John Travolta. He's not actually a friend of mine. I never met him before. Being displayed in front of you guys right now is a list of some of the most famous actors, musicians, television stars, animated television stars, what have you not, and guess what we're going to be doing with them today. Today we're going to be trying out the Travoltify Your Name Generator from USA Today. I will leave a link to this in the description, but basically, after what happened it, with the Grammys, I believe this is a, oh, it's an Oscar, okay, so it's an Oscar. So John Travolta basically mispronounced Adina Menzel, if you don't know who she is, she's the girl who wrote Let It Go from Frozen. She, he mispronounced his name, uh, her name as Adele Nanzim, which is nowhere even near close to what Adina Menzel's uh, name is. Today, we're going to be Travoltifying all of those celebrities that you saw. And we're going to have a special Benedict Cumberbatch edition because there are so, so many fake names. But we're going to see what John Travolta says with him right now. So let's start off with Benedict Cumberbatch. Sorry, I'm not the best of typers. I haven't typed in a while. Benedict Cumberbatch. Now let's see. Do it. And your name is Bethany Cunningham. Thank you. Let's go. Next on the agenda is Robert Downey Jr. Uh, famous, most famous for his role in, as Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. Your name is Robbie Dizon. Thank you. Thank you, John Travolta. Next up, let's try Adam Sandler, one of my favorite comedic actors of all time. Adele Sk... What? Adele Sk... Uh, Adele Sk... Ad Adele Sk Gardner. Adele Sk Gardner. Thank you, John Travolta. That... Amazing. Drew Carey, come on down. With a voice crack in between, you could win a new name of Dean Creek, of Dean Carter. Now for all you feminists out there, even though I don't really like your kind particularly, let's, we're not just gonna do solely men, we're gonna do some females in there too. So let's get Angelina Jolie in here, not Jolie with a W in there, and Alexander Jerkins. That, that's your new name, Angelina Jolie. If you wanna go by that name, hit up John Travolta, he'll say it out the Oscars for you. Hugh Jackman, let's see if Hugh Jackman will be John Travolta-wise in a funny way. Hope Jordan, with two R's, gave him a freaking girl's name. Will this do the same with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Will this do the same? Dwayne Johnson, let's see. Dean John, okay, what if, what if we added The Rock in here? What if we added The Rock in there? Dean Thompson, <laughs> that's it right there. So that was it for for the movie actors for now. We're now transferring over to musicians. So the first musician we have in mind is famous rapper Eminem. Now we can't use Eminem as real name. Well, we can to see how it looks. But let's just look up Marshall Mathers. See, Marcel Marchim. That is that <laughs> Marcel Marsh. That's that's fucking great. What what if it was what if it was just Eminem? What if it just did that? Emily. <laughs> Once again, for all you feminists out there, we're going to be doing not just men musicians. We're going to try Ariana Grande. See what the 24-year-old, 5-foot-tall person's name would be. Alana Grease. Yeah. Back to the mail. So, you know what? Let's go with someone who's been not making music much lately. Let's go with John Legend. How about that? John Legend. This is coming. Jan Lee. That is... Okay, no. Back to the females, let's go with the beautiful and sexy Jennifer Lopez. Let's see if what her name would be. Jessica Lopez. You know what, that's the closest we've ever gotten to a correct name. Our last and final musician has two names. One of them is Peter Hernandez. So we're gonna go Peter Hernandez just to see what, uh, what his name would be, and we're gonna use either this name or his other name, uh, Preston Hernaz. Wait, Preston Hernazandez. Alrighty. His other name, however, is Bruno Mars, so that's more commonly known. Uh, Brogan Memes. So I think we're gonna use that one. <laughs> we got four more. We got four more. We're heading back to actors, and today we're gonna be doing an actor that I love. Uh, most people love him for his role on TV sitcom The Office. 
uh, Michael, or AKA Steve Carell. Let's see, uh, Sky Carter. We have, that's two times we've gotten the last name of Carter. Now we have an amazing comedian, Will Ferrell, ladies and gentlemen, Will Ferrell. Or should I say, Wayne Fisher? You know what? Some people may be like, why are you doing real people? The animated characters, I just hit my fire protection thing. The animated characters have to get some love shown to them too. So let's go with the most beloved animated character, SpongeBob SquarePants. Not Squire Pants, Square Pants. I'm actually very excited to see what uh, is created for this. Sebastian Stewart. Yeah, that, that that's SpongeBob's new name. Creators of SpongeBob, if you want to change the name of the show from SpongeBob to Sebastian Stewart, uh, just pick up John Travolta. I decided to add one more person to this list because uh, and I changed one of the names. First off, we're gonna change John Cena to Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan. Well, even though John Cena is great, and there's nothing wrong with John Cena, Michael Jordan was one of the best athletes of all time. One of the best competitive athletes of all time. So let's see, Mitchell Jordan. What a great fake name for Michael Jordan. Thanks, John Rolta, I appreciate it. And finally, the name we added. The best football player in the history of ever. Tom Brady. This is the final name, and then we will get to our award presentation ceremony. Tom Brady, a.k.a. Todd Bursey. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for the fake names, and now it is time to present these uh, fake names with awards, including... But before we do that, let's get started with our Benedict Cumberbatch special. Here are the outstanding nominees for performance by an actor in a leading role. Brian Bumblebee Crumbly Sprinkles. Ben Dildblah Cumberflaw. Bumblebore Cottage Cheese. Butterscotch Cabbage Patch, Ill Diddly Doo Doo Wop Cosby Show. And the Oscar goes to. We will unfortunately never know who won that Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role. However, here are some of the other nominees that did not get featured in that video that should have been featured that I feel like deserve a spot in this video. First up, we have Robbie Dizon from his supporting role in Iron Man. We then have Adil Skagardner for his role in Happy Gilmore. Then we have Dean Carter from his supporting host on The Price is Right. Alexander Jerkins for a role in a movie I don't know. Hope Jordan as the Wolverine. And Dean Thompson for his song, You're Welcome. The Oscars should feature more music. I know it features like best soundtrack or best song, but here are my uh, votes for best musicians ever well, today. Here they are. We got Marcel Marchim, AKA Emily. We got Alana Grease. Then we have John Lee with four E's at the end. We also have Jessica Lopez. And last but not least, Brogan Means. And last but certainly not least, we have some more actors, two athletes, two actors, and an animated star. First off, we have Sky Carter for his role as Michael in The Office. We have Wayne Fisher from Talladega Nights. We have Sebastian Stewart for his role in the animated TV kid series. We then have Mitchell Jordan for his competitiveness on the basketball court. And then we have Todd Bursey for his five and six, maybe six, five Super Bowl rings. Leave your comments down below saying which name was the best, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. See you later.